Shouty. You talk to me about how you feeling about the game right now, though, Cool Joe, man. What I mean, the different music going on and stuff. Right. And everything that you see that's happening, and especially the state of Atlanta, right. with y'all being some of the forefathers and folks that put the city on the map the right yeah. way. How do you feel about what's going on now? Well, man, I think um, I think ain't nothing changed, man, since we came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing changed. Once these people figure out that you know a little something, something. Yeah. Once these people figure out that um, you ain't going to lay down and let them walk over you and let, let them tell you what to do. Exactly. Once, they, once you figure that out, man, you got a target on your head. You feel what I'm saying? So it's either you keep that thing 1,000 yeah. or you fall in line with it, all the rest of the workers. You feel what I'm saying? You yeah. go to lunch like yeah, all the rest of the workers. You punch that clock like all the rest of the workers. Like I tell my folk, man, I'm not no entertainer. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I'm 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 a real person. That's right. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is me. This is what you see. That's right. It's hundred percent Joe Goody, aka Willie. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? So that's, up. that's what um that's what that's what I that's what I do, man. I just keep that thing real, man, and yeah. I just let people know a little truth, bring a little truth in there because a whole bunch of truth, man, you're going to choke them out with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A whole bunch of real stuff, man, you're going to choke them out with it, man. So Back. I think that's what the radio station is all about right now, man. Too much real stuff is going to wake up everybody. Exactly. And then everybody going to realize, man, guess what, man? Y'all been y'all been lying to us, man, from the beginning. Hey. You hey. feel me? Talk to me, though, Cool Joe, about you jumping into the game as a youngster, though, man. And, I mean, having the courage and the audacity wow. to keep it 1,000. Well, I'm going to tell you, man, you know, I had a, um, coming into the music industry, man, I had a lot of people I looked up to, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I looked up to, uh, I looked up to NWA. Yeah. I looked up to Public Enemy, man. That was one of my, one of my best rap groups, man. I mean, all time, I used to love the way Chuck D used to come, man. Yeah. I used to love the, um, uh, Flavor Flav. Uh-huh. I used to love their whole get up, man. Yeah. I used to love that whole thing, man. Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Cypress Hill. So, man, I, I was kind of, like, groomed by all the rappers in, in the regions of the United States, man. Yeah. Groomed by all of them, man, and then came out, man, with my own style, man. Yeah. Taught yeah. myself how to rap by listening to other people rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, taught myself how to stay on beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was a learning process for me, man. And it, it wasn't a just get on the bike and ride. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to fall off a couple of times. Exactly. Matter of fact, man, my voice didn't change, man, until... Whoa, man, so way after I got out of high school, man, I had what? a real, man, my voice sounded like a kid voice. Wait, man. but you was walking around here sounding like a pip squeak in this man, thing, man. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I was sounding like a little baby gangster around here, man. For real, yeah, man. No. Yeah, man, and uh, my voice had to develop, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? I had to um, like how I sounded yeah. in my earphones, you feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So all that stuff I had to develop, man, and it wasn't just, like I said, man, it wasn't just pick up a mic one day and start rapping the next day. Radio Shouty! Shouty.